All right, here we have it. 2023 Host Mammoth. Uh, solar panels sticking out on top. I'm just gonna zip you around this real quick. Um, interior is kind of really what uh, we like to focus on on these. Does have slide out toppers. Uh, this particular one does have lithium batteries, so no generator in here. Great tank, outdoor shower, power, all that good stuff. Of course, we got it plugged in. Um, the typical battery box would be hanging out right here. Obviously, there's nothing in there right now. Slide out drawer. See if I can't get you up and back. You can kind of see the batteries hanging out back there. All your plumbing, electrical, all that stuff's hanging out here. I'm going to slide this back in so you can kind of see how she looks. This one did just come in all the way from cross country. We have not washed it yet, so it is about as dirty as it's ever going to be. You can kind of see that on the exterior. Looks like it's got the reflective uh, gray windows. Backup camera, exterior ladder, propanes hanging out in here. Of course, made in America. I'll give you a little uh, shot there of the tag. Of course, you do have all your slide out buttons and whatnot right here on the entryway. When this thing is closed up, you cannot get in. So let's get in here, take a look, see. Nice big U-shaped dinette. These tables pretty much move everywhere. They spin out and they move and, I mean, they just do whatever you need them to do. Kind of how they attach down here. Of course, there's power. Nice little uh, drawer over here as well. All right, look into the back. Of course, you do have Pull down shades for all the windows, day and night shades, so kind of nice. MCD, name brand. This one's got huge storage back here. They did do a few additions and changes to this to make it possible. So, again, nice and big. There is a mirror. And there is power up here as well. So just kind of wanted to show that. You still get the storage above. They do a real good job with that. You do get day and night shades for above the door. So you can kind of close that all off if you're hanging out in here. Um, fire extinguisher, battery disconnector hanging out down there. More storage. You do get a flip up countertop here. I'm just gonna back up a little bit and show you the kitchen area. It's pretty straightforward. Um, pretty much the same way they've been doing them. Traditional water heater in there. These big drawers. Ooh, this is uh, this is something new. Normally, you get a split sink. I didn't even notice it, and now you get one huge sink. So I take that I take that back. Not the same way they've been doing it for years. Let's uh, get that there. And there you have it. Wow. Let's see what the other one looks like. We do get two in. This is the Theft Bird. Theft Ford three burner stove. It's got the glass top up here, of course. Turns into a backsplash. Looks like this riser handle might have uh, changed a little bit. Nice storage up top. Everything you need in here. Of course, there's another plate in there. Looks like you got a micro in this one. Pretty straightforward. Uh, the fridge has still got packaging on it, so just kind of zip through and show that. This looks like it's the uh, 12 volt option. Um, from there, of course, you got those hanging bars for storage. Nice big pull-out drawers. And I'm going to back you guys up a little bit and uh, show the cabinets in here. Of course, they're infinitely adjustable. 
as always there is over here coax and power for the bedroom television there's a little hole right there for things to kind of go through um, again pretty much the same standard fare over here pretty straightforward over here your switches if you can kind of see this basement fan circulation and exhaust fans so depending upon the temperatures the heat um, if you're trying to keep everything uh, above freezing down below that's one of the ways you do it inverter charger you can kind of see what your batteries are running at here and then here's kind of the rest of everything Alrighty, this one has the fireplace, the stereo, these are vents up top here, those are not speakers, uh, speakers are conveniently hidden up here in the ceiling, so very, very nice. Does have this nicer updated uh, AC on here, the Bel Air 340, so if you want to look into the specs of that, uh, they did change to it because of its higher efficiency. Going into the bathroom, pretty straightforward again. I really kind of like the black darkness of these things. Medicine cabinet is huge, as is always the case. There is a roof vent over here with a little fan. And I did not undo this. But you do have an accordion sliding door here. And uh, the shower pan is pretty much the same as it always is. Little bubble over the top. I know everyone always asks, hey, do I fit in here? I'm six feet tall. I fit in here just fine. Um, if I step out, this is me just standing in the regular camper. Plenty of room. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm only using a phone this time. My GoPro's at home, so uh, hoping this video turns out as good as it usually does. Um, over here, you do have this dimmer feature, kind of gives you some ambiance, gives you some control over what you're doing. Back looking forward, again pretty straightforward, very very nice, very clean. This one has the side wardrobe right here, little clip lock, pull out and push it open. Hard to do with my left hand because I'm right handed. Um, do have hanging up top, of course, and then in back there is a shelf that I'll get you into. Um, window over there, of course, shades, nice light strip up top. Big opening up top for you to, you know, emergency exit if need be. But otherwise, you do get a blackout or a pull screen, so. Pretty nice, pretty straightforward. You get USB charging up top here, 110 power, and over here, I'm gonna switch hands. You just get the regular 12 volt plug in, so. You got a sleep machine or whatnot, and you don't wanna run off 110, plug it right in there. It makes life a little bit easier. Here's your shelf cubby and of course you still have your hangers kind of throughout speakers in the bedroom if you were uh, laying on the bed like I am right now this is kind of what you'd be seeing nice place to put a television of course that opens up easy and then there's a little cabinet kind of right over here on this side and again gives you some room to see some stuff hang bar in it you get reading lights on the top here, so, and of course the shelf up top. And overall, these are massive truck campers. Ooh, I forgot this. Storage under the sink with a TP holder. So. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, want to order one, any of that good stuff, feel free to get a hold of me down below. Thanks for watching.